Hey everybody, it's Operation Destroy, playing on Sunboom's account, my wife, my beautiful wife's account. Today, um, we are taking on Hammerman. Um, I don't know how far we'll get. She has pretty low defenses here. Um, I'm not going to complain, but I'm not going to say anything good about him. Um, I have a boosted ice masterpiece going right now at 54%. I just boosted it because I'm going to need all the help I can get with that statue. Because, I mean, look at this machine gun here. Machine gun level 6 only doing that. Not even doing half a, just a half of a, half of a hundred damage per second. So, I don't, I, I predict we'll maybe get, maybe, past stage 2. So, I'm actually saying we'll beat stage 1. And I might not. I don't know. We'll see how this base setup will do. And so, let's, without complaining or guessing let's just give it a chance and go gosh there's a lot of heavies and yeah i don't know maybe stage one is gonna be our defeat i don't know um so here we go jumping into stage one and now we have the mortars coming in to kick on and we just need the rocket launchers and everything to go as planned and we there's a bunch of heavies here you guys um, those boom cannon sniper towers need to really punch in and take that flamethrower. He's doing his best. Mr. Flamethrower himself is blasting away at those heavies. The boom cannons and the cannons are trying to do their work against these guys. Um, it looks like they're pretty much almost put out. We got some uh, girls, the, the Zookas, Bazooka girls, taking them out. And then, yeah, it looks like we're going to take this one down. Um, it wasn't as bad as I thought. And, yeah, stage one goes down just like that. Um, and we get a nice, beautiful power rod. Yes, thank you, Hammerman. And then next, well, let's give it a roll. This time we have 12 heavies, 24 riflemen, and 264 Johnsons. That's going to be the question here. Will we get past those Johnsons? I don't know, but here we go. We got the Warriors and the Heavies mixing on in to get and attack that mortar and the storage house. And the defenses, we need them to rock and roll because those Heavies are going to be the meat shield for those 264 Johnsons. This is looking crazy. We got two sides attacking here. The left and the right. The flamethrowers are doing a pretty good job on blasting these Johnsons to shreds on the le the right side. And on the left side, it's looking a bit bare. It looks like we're doing a pretty darn good job here on stage two. Yes, um, I think the left side is pretty completely out. And all we have is just a handful of Johnsons left here on the right side. We got that rocket kicking in. We got the cannons and sniper tower. This is going to be an easy victory. I underestimated. Stage 2 went down pretty quick and easy, you guys. Um, and we get some much-needed um, prototype modules. Moving up to see if this base can withstand Stage 3 is going to be here in a second. Enough light probing time for a full frontal assault. Let's take a look at what he has. He has 8 medics, 48 Zookas, 40 riflemen. No, no. 40 warriors and 120 riflemen. Let's see if my wife's account can defend against stage three. He's bombarding these cannons here, my defenses I need. And here we go here. They're attacking right side first, interesting. Um, the flamethrower is doing a mighty fine job trying to roast, but the medics are kind of healing him. It's kind of like counterproductive, but there they go. Um, yeah, this one, I don't know, the Zookas are hitting mines. That's a good thing. Knock those Zookas out. Yes, run over those mines, Zookas. Um, we need those medics. The medics by those Zookas are helping them. Yeah, this is, I don't know, this is a coin toss, you guys. I don't know what we got here. We are blasting away with all we can. There's a bunch of riflemen. Yeah, I don't know about this one. All my defenses, except for that rocket, is our last hope. Um, and once he goes, everything's going. There's a rocket up there, too, I forgot about. But he's going down. The rockets are down. We got this lonely little boom, this little cannon here that just went down. Yeah. It looks like we go as far as stage three. That is it. Um, yeah. they're got a couple of them going to the, the right side here. Let's speed it up here. Um, and, yeah. HQ goes down. We are defeated in stage three. 
There is a possibility we could arrange this base around to get it to work maybe this time, but you know what? I'm not gonna take that chance. Let me just uh, save this base layout. Where was it at? Oh man, um, was it here? Uh, let me just save over it and then go back to her normal base I think was right here maybe. Yeah, all right, cool. So let's just uh, let's just go see if we can beat some player attack bases without boosting. Um, and let's just take a look here at this guy's base. What do we have here? Wow, his HQ is back here, level 16, out of harm's reach except for this rocket launcher, which I'm not too worried about. As a matter of fact, no cannons, no sniper towers uh, can even touch them. So. I think we can get this guy, no problem. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna attack. Again, we're not boosted here. Let's see what we got. We got 51 GBE. Gotta be very careful on what, how I use my GBE here. So I'm gonna just artillery these two boom cannons because I wanna have all my troops. And then I'm gonna actually send them out. I'm only gonna, uh, I'm only gonna smoke once on this cannon. Yes, they're gonna get fried by that flamethrower, but it doesn't do too much damage. Let's go to this machine gun next. This is the part where I really have to take care of my troops, because once I get up there, the cannons are gonna, I mean, the, ro the rockets are gonna be hitting them, but I don't think it's gonna be super bad. So let's get them up and over, and I'll just shock, see if I can get both of those rockets together. Nope, I got one, but uh, we have a mortar, it's gonna fire, but it's okay. I'm gonna throw a med kit on them while they're taking care of this. And uh, yeah, it looks like we got it. Did we lose any troops? I don't know, I don't think so. No, oh, maybe one, is that, that I don't know. But yeah, that one goes down pretty easy. I think he still has his Hammerman base up because that was kind of really easy. I lost one warrior. Okay, I'll take it. So there we go. Let's move along and see what this guy is up for. 41, level 41. Let's look at his base. Ooh, he has a level 16 with about 81,900 health. I'm trying to look at what he has. He has a cannons, boom cannons. Those are the main concern about, um, gosh, I could farm if I kill that rocket to get some GBE, but let's just take this guy out if I can. I'm gonna try it. Um, let's see, there's no shock launchers. I'm trying to scout, no, okay, so basically I'm gonna shock, you know, these defenses here and um, these probably here because these three could probably one-shot my warriors, whereas this guy can only one-shot my warriors. So I'm just trying to plan of attack to what would be the best to, to eliminate defenses or take them out. So let's try this one, guys. This is this is this will be a close one. I probably will lose a lot of warriors on this one, but that's what the name of the game is, right? So I'm actually gonna just uh, take my warriors out and send one smoke on that warrior. They are getting hit. Okay, it's okay, um, and then they get to that that base, and now I'm gonna go right to the HQ and. Uh, Oh, they're gonna hit those boom mines. I forgot about those, but it's okay. We're gonna lose a warrior here and there, and right there. And now here comes the shock part. Let's try this. Shock, shock, and throw a med kit on my guys and see if we can uh, take this base out. It looks like they're doing a pretty swell job here, and it looks like we're going to take this base out. No problem at all. Yes, it goes down. Uh, what also helped too is it was the HQ was close to the beach, so it didn't require too much GBE to smoke or shock. I, I was able to shock twice, which was really cool. So I will take it. Lost 21 warriors there. Not a big problem here. So let's just get those guys instant up and move on along to Perio. Let's check out Perio's base and um, see. Oh, he has his HQ working to stay at level 17 right now. That's a work in progress. He does have a shock launcher that definitely needs to be shocked. So I'm trying to think here. Uh, you know what? It's like. There's so much GBE up there. There's so much GBE up there. Um, but the only problem is I got this shock launcher here would be shocking them. So I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's just go straight for the HQ and let's see what we can do with these guys. So Perio, here we go. Let's see what you have for our troops. Um, I'm not even gonna like destroy the mines. They're gonna die, but it's okay. So I'm gonna actually get my troops and smoke right onto that sniper tower. Yes, they're getting hurt. But it's okay. And I'm actually going to smoke now to the HQ. And yes, we're losing some warriors. Yes, ouch, that hurt. And that's fine. So now I'm going to shock that shock for sure. Shock the boom cannons. Throw a med kit. And throw another med kit. And let's see if we can get this. Once that shock comes back on, man, my warriors are going to be shocked. Ooh, this is going to be close, like I said. 
Like I said, can we get this one? It's gonna be close, and we do. We lost casualties, casualties, but Perio goes down. That was a tough one, guys. I'll be honest with you. If that base would have been any further back, it would have been a no victory for sure because it would have required more GBE to smoke. And yeah, I wouldn't have had enough time to shock two defenses or have two shocks. So it all depends on where the layout is on these bases, guys, if I can do this or not. Here's a level 46. What's this one, guy? Yuki? Is this Yuki? Okay, his, his is 70,000. It's a level 16 base. Um, I'm trying to think, does he have any shock launchers on this base? No, he doesn't. So it's very possible um, that we can get this one. Like I said, I don't see too many mines running this path here. There's just like three of them here that they'll run into and then that boom mine right there. So I'm not even worried about it. Let's, uh, you gotta kind of plan out your attacks guys to see exactly what's gonna work. Again, being low level like this, you have to really calculate the GBE and what you wanna shock. And you should scout, plan out before you're gonna attack. So here, I'm gonna attack definitely this cannon this cannon here and I'm gonna get this rocket not that the rockets really gonna be in range because I'm in the bubble and um, just to get the flamethrower maybe here and that should that should be fine um, I'm hoping I can take this base down and let's give it a chance and let's take a chance right here so right away I'm gonna just flare right to that machine gun and just let my warriors run I'm gonna do one smoke just to save the GBE yes they will get pinged by the sniper tower and will get hit but I don't think I lost any. And we're going to go right to that HQ because that smoke is going to run out. Okay. And um, they're hitting mines now. So I better throw a med kit because, uh, yeah. Ooch. Ouch. Uh, yeah, that, that, that doesn't look good on them. Okay. Now it's time to shock. So we're going to shock and shock. And uh, hope that we can um, annihilate this base. The Warriors are doing a spectacular job. It looks like we are going to take down Yuki's base but not before I suffer mass casualty, guys. I have some warriors still on fire. Amazing. All right, guys, down goes Yuki's base, and we get some nice, much-needed loot. Right on. All right, just trying to power through these bases, guys. I'm unboosted on the, 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 the damage, the, um, the offensive here, statues. I'm trying to just see what I can do without boosting. Because, again, if you can win without boosting, that is a big bonus here. Where is his HQ? Oh, it's in the back. I wonder if he's still attacking. If he is, then this guy's base is going down with, like, no casualties. Okay, no casualties. Can I attack? Oh, he forgot to change his base back. He's going to suffer a loss here. I'm going to try to do this without any casualties. So here we go. I'm actually going to be now very wise with my smokes to try to get no casualties for my beautiful wife's account here. Let's get him right to that storage bin there. I'm actually gonna flare him all the way to the corner of the trees here. Oh, I need to actually smoke there, okay. And I got 26 GBE, and once I get out of that range, hopefully the rocket, the rocket's the only thing that's gonna probably be getting me, but it's okay. I'm not gonna be worrying about it. When they get high enough, they'll be fine. Okay, that's fine. And now we're gonna just go right over to this HQ here. Get over there, my warriors. I'm gonna actually throw a med kit as they run through it because that mortar's gonna fire, and just to kind of give them a little love. And um, the only thing I think that's gonna really gonna fire them is the mortar, but they're gonna get it, and the rocket, and they're gonna just heal themselves up as they swing away. So, like I said, you guys, this is gonna be a victorious, no casualty attack on Split. Split, you shouldn't have split too fast, buddy. You gotta change your base back, man. That, that, that's an easy win for um, attackers, man, especially that one. Um, so yeah, we got his resources and some intel for the t task force. No casualties, hooray, got it, perfect. This is a good time to check out bases, man, because sometimes people forget. I've done it too, it's, I'm guilty of it. It's not, I'm not making fun of anybody. But anyways, let's check out Morbius. He's a level 46, and uh, his base here is a level 17. But what I like about this base here is nothing behind it. So all I would have to do is just pretty much shock this boom cannon to get these cannons and the shock launcher, if believe it or not, cannot reach. That's the added benefit here. He needs to go back, Mobius, you need to go back and get your shock launcher in view of the HQ because now I don't need to shock you, dude. And this rocket is far out of reach. And yeah, this, any more rockets? I think he does. Does he have any more rockets? He should, right? He should. Where is it? It's probably up here somewhere. Whatever, it's okay. Um, 
yeah, this one shouldn't be too bad easy either, guys. I just need to shock the uh, cannons and we're good to go. So let's get our warriors out. Mobius, here I come for you, buddy. And first and foremost, let's get our warriors out and flared to the uh, sculptor. And I'm just gonna kind of like, I'm gonna just gonna like smoke once there and smoke once on the sculptor. And then once they get around that sculptor, I'm gonna send them right to the HQ and begin the smoky path here. Oh, they're, they're going around that, that mill there. And then um, I'm actually gonna smoke the HQ, get up there. I was a little bit late of a smoke, but it's okay. And now we're just gonna play and shock this uh, cannon and everything. Let's get wait a little bit longer and go now. I can actually do another one here to get that cannon here. And yeah, there we go. Mor Mobius, Mobius 300 level 46, you are down for the count. And you know what, I lost two warriors. I thought I was victorious there and flawless, but no, I lost two warriors, they went down, but so did Mobius, he is down. All right, okay, we're doing pretty well here, guys. Trucking along with a no boost here on the warrior tax. Let's go check out, ooh, King Kong, ooh, King Kong. Do you beat your chest, buddy? King Kong, let's see how his base looks up and stacks up. Now, bad choice of rocket launcher placement here. Um, yes, if you want to get someone, because look, it's not even full. I mean, you, you're not really covering a lot. Okay, um, and if you look here, the inner circle is basically out of reach of the warriors. Yeah, you might have a few stragglers hanging on that the rockets target, but for the most part, again, I'm shocking the main defenses that will one-shot my troops, you guys. Keep that in mind when you're using warriors. Um, they don't have a super amount of health, um, and especially at this level, and you want to get the defenses that are going to take him out. So I'm going to shock that cluster there, this cluster here. Uh, machine guns don't really do much damage, so I think we got this one as well. I, I will, I will, I'm going to actually predict a win on this one. So King Kong, get ready to fall. Get ready to fall, my friend. All right, so let's just get our warriors out, and there's nothing really in danger of my warriors. So I'm going to just do the one smoke like I do right on that armory and then right I'm gonna actually go to the uh, rocket launcher and we're gonna just smoke our troops to that rocket launcher and yeah they're hitting a few mines but it's nothing to write home about and get onto this HQ and there we go surround that bad boy and then uh, now it's just a matter of shocking what I said I was gonna shock so shock and shock and then there we go let the warriors do their thing, and I have an artillery. Let's throw an artillery into that HQ. Maybe it'll blow it up. Boom, up, a little too late. But King Kong falls down the building, <laughs> and he goes, drops down just like that. And ooh, we get a prototype module. I will take it. A critical fuse, yes. We lost seven warriors on that attack, not too bad. All right, and let's see, are we have any more player bases? Who's this guy right here? Level 45, can't pronounce the name. Um, so, sorry. Oh, here we go. He has a sh ooh, level 18, 100k health. This is a nice base here because his shock launcher, shock blaster, and um, cannon, and I think perhaps this rocket, if shocked right, could be shocked in one shock, which would be epic. If I can get those, um, the boom cannons are actually in range. Pretty good placement on those because he can pick off uh, warriors. Um, what I'll probably end up doing here is um, not a lot of defenses above here. There's a lot of GBE. I won't mind if this guy's picking off my warriors and uh, the sniper towers. They'll just do damage, but they won't pick them off right away. I think I can do this base. Let's, let's give it a try, man. 100k health. Let's see if my, my wife's warriors can take this guy's base. So starting off, I need to have as many as I can. So I'm actually going to actually throw a, a, a artillery right there to annihilate those mines there. I might need to do that to this one too because um, I want to run on this flamethrower. There we go, and that uh, I'm gonna might need. To, I'm hoping my one shot, my one smoke will be enough here because they're gonna start getting picked off very soon. That shock might fire. Okay, it's good. And then we're gonna go right to this HQ now. We need to keep our warriors safe. All right, there they go into the HQ. I'm actually gonna throw a med kit on them because they need it. And here goes the fun part. Let's see if I can shock all these together. Boom! Oh, I didn't get the, I didn't get that. I need to throw another med kit on because I don't have enough for another shock. And this is the moment of truth, everybody. Am I gonna take this base out? The shock blaster's coming back on, the shock launcher's coming back on. And now it's just a matter of am I gonna get this base? Am I gonna get it? Yes, I do. 
Yes, I do. My wife's shocks don't last that long. I think it's maybe what, like six seconds or seven seconds. And boom, there it goes, you guys. I lost 24 warriors, and I think, let me, before I instant them, are, yeah, there's somebody else. Let's check this player out here. Che chef, we chef, okay, or chef, or, yeah, chef, chef. <laughs> All right, this guy's base here, level 785. He has a shock launcher, which will definitely need to be shocked. And then some cannons, and we can hopefully get these clusters here. And yeah, I think I can do this. Let's give it a go. And the benefit on this is his base is close to shore, so it's not gonna require. He has a nice little mindset up here. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is let's just eliminate um, that boom mine and mine. Um, and maybe that mine right there. And yeah, they'll hit some mines here, but it's okay. So I'm gonna flare this machine gun, this flamethrower and smoke right onto it. Yes, a couple will get picked and some will even die, it's okay. I'm gonna throw a med kit now on him and then send him right to this HQ because they're gonna hit a few more mines here. And yes, they finally get there with 23 GVE. They are hurting bad, so I need to send them. I'm gonna actually shock. Oh, I have no more shocks, but I gotta get that shock shock. So here we go, we got a bunch of cannons firing at these guys. This is gonna be a close one. Come on, warriors! Come on, warriors! Beat down that HQ! Oh, I don't know, guys. I don't think about. I don't think so on this one. I don't think so on this one. It's gonna be close. But you know what I did? I I overdone and used my GBE. Oh, there was one left. Couldn't do it. Almost. Let's let's try that again. We can take this guy out. I don't give up that easy. I just don't. I really don't. Let's jump right back in. And this time, I'm gonna need to have some enough shocks to shock those cannons. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna come in from this side. Instead of blowing up a bunch of mines, I'm just gonna, um, I'm actually just gonna just annihilate that one right there. And we're gonna try in this side now. We're gonna come on this machine gun right here. And I'm gonna actually smoke. And yes, there we go. Not too bad. And then now we're gonna send these guys right to the HQ. Oh, I threw two smokes. Oh, too quick on the finger. Okay, this is another run around here. I need to get that shock launcher for sure. I don't have enough for another for another shock. I oversmoked, you guys. That was my error. I'm probably gonna fail this one again, um, but uh, I'll, I'll do it right. I, I don't. <laughs> yeah, shock just shocked all those warriors over there. Yeah, you guys. If you saw me, I threw two shocks back, two smokes back here, and I had too quick of a finger. All right, this guy's this guy's putting up a good fight. All right, I get it, I get it, I get it. Let's do it. Okay, let's try this one again. And um, this time around, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna destroy that boom mine. I'm just gonna let the warrior one of the warriors die. So now I'm gonna smoke that machine gun once again, and I'm gonna have to actually throw a med kit because they are hurting. And then now let's try this again, and I'm gonna smoke my troops. There we go, and there around there. Now I should have enough for two shocks. So I'm gonna get that shock launcher, and then those boom cannons. Definitely, boom. All right, I'm thinking now that we will get this base. Let me get an artillery in there, and yes. It looks like, come on, get it get it there we go we got it it wasn't easy guys it wasn't easy chef we chef you put up a good fight for my my wife's warriors but on the third time was the charm on that one and we take it down lost 28 wonderful warriors and i think that was it right was that it all player bases are annihilated yes they are all player bases are annihilated there's just npc left i'll let my wife play those she likes those ones and yeah, that'll be it guys. You saw the, the hammer man. She didn't make it quite past stage three. We got to stage three, but couldn't get any further than that. I'll call it a day on this because the video is kind of long already. So let me just recharge your warriors, let them recharge. And that'll be it for the day. So thank you so much for tuning in. I'm glad you guys are my subscribers. You guys are so cool. Thanks again. And we will see you guys in the next video. All right, bye-bye.